Hey, it's Brett. Here's the third devlog video for Luigian. I've been working on the full production of the game beyond the prototype phase since sitting down, writing the story outline, creating character sheets for the characters and understanding the locations and the progression of the game. I've made quite a lot of progress since then so I wanted to share that and go over all the different differences. So the first thing is uh, new music. I replaced the stolen Dragon Quest music with some public domain music. In maps, there's this kind of more quiet theme. And I'll put info in the video description about who these are from, who made the music. Combat also has a new music, so I wanted to replace that with some public domain music. I also replaced the Dragon Quest background with one that I made, a pretty simple rudimentary planes one. That mushroom enemy is new. The main character, Kino's sprite, the little blue woman in the center there, uh, that's new, before it was the main character from Dragon Quest. Yeah, I just wanted to get rid of all those Dragon Quest assets. Mushroom's new. Can't remember if I said that. But that's a new enemy I made. A lot of mushrooms. We'll flee. That'll show the enemy flicker and you have a chance to then escape. Here's a slime. I replaced the Dragon Quest slime with my own slime. Also, enemies on the map now have their own movement pattern. And then they'll eventually stop fleeing if you get far enough away. They kind of they move randomly and then will pursue. This entire map area is new. This area is called the Huron Plains West. And it's a pretty big map that I'll show you in Tiled for how I build it. And I made this whole tile set. Some of the art it's a little rough, like the trees and the boulder ridge. Like this ridge blocks me from going down. Let's fight this mushroom. Because I want to show leveling, which is a new part I built in the game. So, Kino got three experience from defeating the mushroom, levels up to two. And all of her health gets restored. You can see on the pause menu I now display information about her health, her level, current experience, and the experience of the next level. And now that Kino has leveled up to level 2, she's quite a bit stronger and has a little higher defense. So the mushroom did less damage and uh, Kino is uh, you're able to defeat them faster and take on stronger enemies. Let's save the game and then we'll load it and we'll see that Kino's health is saved, but also her level, her total experience is saved, which is new. Um, that didn't exist before. Got NPCs on the map, which I don't have sprites for yet, but you can talk to them. You can go from maps to maps, which existed before, and now we're back to some of the placeholder maps. Let's see what else is new. Yeah, that's primarily it. We've got levels, we've got uh, fresh sprites and music, got um, Files on the map with collision. I think that covers most of the progress. From here, I will go and work on. Oh, I can't get through there. <laughs> uh, from here, I will work on building out a village where you can sleep and restore your health, items that you can consume and equip. So those are two new systems that I haven't really built out yet. And I'll have to build a new tile set for that village. It'll be called Huron Village. Um, I'll add some new enemies and just kind of keep making steady progress throughout there. Uh, let's talk to this NPC.
Douglas says, I just went out for a stroll and then all of a sudden I got surrounded by monsters. Today's just not my day. Okay, there's water. It's interesting that that enemy got out onto the water because that should be... Um, that's a bug, but hey, they're gonna be bugs and uh, have to spend some time fixing them. Yeah, that's what I've got so far. I've been having a lot of fun working on it and uh, I thought it'd be cool to show you Tiled, just to show you the map editing, because I've been spending quite a lot of time in it. So this is Tiled, which is a free program for map editing. It's really great. Um, I'm really enjoying using it. Before I was using Ogmo Editor 3, I switched to Tiled and recoded how that worked uh, to use Tiled, because I think it's quite a bit... I like the interface a lot more, uh, so that's that's been quite positive. But yeah, you can see the zoomed out view of what we were just exploring. And on the map editor, you have a tile set that you can use to paint the tiles. So if we click this grass and I click here, that updated the map to now have this grassy grass instead of just normal grass. Um, so that's how you edit the tiles. And then certain tiles have collision properties that prevent objects from moving past them, like trees and those kinds of things. Um, what I do is I edit this PNG image file, and then that refreshes here, and then it'll also refresh on the map and in the game. So I can go and iterate on the sprites to make them better. And then you place objects, which I have an enemy object, and then based on whether it's a mushroom or a slime, determines what shows up in the game. I'll be able to set properties, like their level, and anything else I'd want to. Where the player starts when you start a new game. Uh, building out NPCs. And this name key determines which text gets displayed. And then you can transport to different areas. So uh, yeah, working with tiles has been nice. And then I'll build out different maps. Like here's opening up that test area. And uh, yeah, that's my progress so far. Going to work on building out the first town slash village, going to build the second version of the plains that you go north through, and keep on making progress. I'm uh, potentially collaborating with a friend who's going to help with some character designs and music, which I'm really excited about and hopeful that that goes well and adds some creative energy that uh, through collaborating that would be quite a lot of fun so hopefully i'll have more share more to share there that's my project that's my progress on elysian thanks for following along checking it out and hope to have more to share soon as i keep making progress all right thanks have a good one